That girl's not wearing any clothes at all. Anderson Inn returns with dance Friday at 9 on BBC One. Now I've seen everything. An update from the Crime Watch studio now on BBC One Northern Ireland with Nick Ross and Fiona Bruce. Welcome to Crime Watch Update. First, the gang that stalked a woman, broke into a home and kidnapped her. All to steal computers from a warehouse. Time to move. We're going to have to tie you in blindfolds. <laughs> Now, I'm going to carry you over to the car now, OK? I can hear you when I say No, 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 no. Can't do that. I had my dad's voice in my ear. Um, he used to be a bank manager saying the best thing that you can do is to do exactly as you're told and cooperate. Well, Marie, it was a terrifying ordeal for the victim, but you've had some very good information. Yeah, we have had a fantastic result. Um, we've had two separate callers giving the name of the lad that was calling Sarah Bubs and Bubba all the time. Giving the same name? That's right, and saying that he also had a best friend called Jay. And we saw that in the reconstruction, because he referred to someone as Jay. That's and right. also, people called in with, it, with, about, uh, with information about things that we hadn't actually mentioned in the reconstruction. That's right. There was a man with a big nose that we didn't actually give the information out on. Two separate callers, again, have called in giving his details. And what about the white van? Anything on that? Yeah, we've had a sighting of the white van about a week ago. A lady actually saw the four holes in the, in the rear doors, and she's called in giving that information. Fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. Next, attacks on young women in Blackpool. One hit with something like this repeated. In fact, hit so hard and so repeatedly it broke. This is the actual implement. The other was beaten almost to death with a brick. Detective Superintendent Kath Thundercloud is trying to find out who did this before he actually does kill someone. You've had 22 names, actually more now, is it 22, 23 names come in 98 calls and counting? That's right, we've had several names put forward that fit the, the e fit. Some of these uh, have come from people outside the Blackpool area. Does that, does that make sense? Do they, do they in any way link back into Blackpool? Yeah, and what's interesting is that one lady rang up from Scotland to say that she'd been attacked, similar with a mobile phone, in Blackpool, and it was actually the day before the, the other attack in July. So th there's a lot to go on in this. You haven't yet found the driver of a white Peugeot that was stopped by one of the women. She was almost half dead, actually, but he couldn't tell that at the time. He drove off. He must remember a woman who was obviously in distress trying to stop him. He hasn't come forward. He hasn't come forward, and we're saying, please come forward, because you've possibly seen the attacker as you've driven along the road. OK, Kath, thanks. Now, we showed a trawl of antiques, part of 4,000 found by Avon and Somerset Police that need to be reunited with their owners, and we have reunited some of them, haven't we? Uh, we had a fantastic response. We had 53 phone calls in total. Both these clocks have been claimed from two separate burglaries, two different parts of the country. Uh, the Starburst brooch. Yeah, this is beautiful. A lady remembers that being given to her in 1940, has great sentimental value. She knew that one straight away and identified the, the distinguishing marks on the back. Uh, the barograph. Oh, yes, the barograph. I've never seen one of those, and that's been reunited that's as well. That's been reunited as well, and we've got some great inquiries, uh, a lot about these maps and some other items that we featured, so fantastic. Fantastic. Great, great result. So where was Herbert Anthony Leslie? Two sightings of him in the UK and one in Spain. One la lady has asked to see his face again, so here he is. Andrew Patton, we knew he had family connections in Scotland, and sure enough, he's been spotted there. Adamiji Johnson Ojo, some great information about him. So good, in fact, I can't say any more. I've also had to be very secretive about why we're looking for Sam on Ojigovi. But if you've seen him in the UK, particularly in 2001, you could solve a murder. We've taken 47 calls so far on the hamburger murder, the stabbing of a man in an, a North London street after a ridiculously minor row over jumping a queue in McDonald's. What was that all about? He tried to jump the queue and I wasn't having it. I stabbed. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! <laughs> Call an ambulance. <laughs> A really horrible, ludicrous crime. Guy with a very short fuse, very Did, distinctive yes. knife, distinctive appearance. You had CCTV of him. We have, and you've got lots of people suggesting who he is. Yeah, we've had a, a number of calls uh, that have given us uh, areas to look at um, where uh, 
a man matching that description can be found. We've had one call that's named somebody and two other calls uh, about the same location, which is really very interesting. And they all not, really could, could match. And they all could match and they're fairly close to our location. So we're, we're very interested in those. And a number of other calls that, that we'll be following up over the next two or three days. Uh, some very interesting information. Good. Martin, good luck with it. Thank you. A good results on CCTV. We'll start with that awful uh, attack, gang attack on two students in Bingley. We've had loads and loads of calls on, on that. Many names put forward, some people recognising them from school or from work or as an ex-boyfriend. Uh, the woman opening the account at Lloyd's TSB, at least three...